Welcome to my store. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna be showing you a lot of our different products. I think it'll help you if you're ever opening a similar business to this on seeing what sells and what doesn't. Um, I've kind of made the mistake on buying things that don't sell that me and Felicia had to uh, force down our throats, unfortunately, or throw away. Um, but honestly, you'll see a lot of things in this store that um, I'm not 100% sure that will work at your store, but do work in many stores because we've tested them. And uh, yeah, if you see anything you do like, let us know in the comments down below. And if you do like this video at any time, please support us. Um, if you hit the like button now, you get an apple sent to your house, um, signed by Felicia. Um, yeah, we're just happy to be sending apples out. So make sure you hit the like button. So this is the checkout. This is where, you know, everyone obviously pays for everything. And if you haven't noticed, we, wow, okay. We really, really, packed with the impulse buying. Like you're talking chocolates, butter tarts, cut up fruit, uh, drinks, pies, water. Water is one of the best things to sell. You buy it for a dollar a case and you sell it for a dollar a bottle. It's beautiful. Um, I'm getting excited because this section can literally be something that takes care of a lot of your constant bills. Just this small section because I'm thinking, and Felicia can vouch for me, she's up front all the time. 50%, if not more, of people will pick at least one thing off of this off of this uh, display here. I'm gonna which, say like 75%, at least take just, one item, if not multiple. It just, how do you say no to a butter tart, chocolate, pepperoni sticks? Like, look at this thing. Right here is what we kind of keep, where we kind of keep all of our baked goods, our pies, coffee cakes, and you'll see that it's very empty right now. Like there's Lucy's chocolate bar some cinnamon sticks um, basically it's nice to run out every single day so you can keep things fresh and as you see most things are gone for the day so at a first glance you're probably thinking grocery store usually picture a big box store but picture this as a small convenient grocery store that you would find in a small neighborhood or in a strip plaza so we've built this store over a collection of inventory from other local entrepreneurs, whether it be honey, baked goods, local produce, or vegan products, you name it, we kind of found all the local people in this area to kind of be able to have their own storefront without actually having a storefront. That's one section of our business, and then we specialize in many other things that I'm gonna show you throughout this video. Clearly, we're really into impulse buying. Um, you got some nice, uh, offbeat Pringles here and some healthy Pringles, I guess, over here. That's how they sold it to us. I'm not saying they're healthy or not. If you own this brand, if, if they're healthy, I'm sorry. I just don't know. I haven't looked at the ingredients. And then we did some more, you know, uh, beef jerky, pepperettes, all different kinds. We want to give our customers a choice. And uh, we're kind of doing that in an impulsive way, let's say. Okay, moving on to this. Um, this is our vegan corner. All of this stuff is vegan. Uh, we do have a lot of vegan customers. It's a really big market now. A lot of people are shifting away from dairy and all that in general, and there's a lot of strict vegans that come in. So we like to give them as many options as possible. And as you see, you know, we have all your sauces, your dehydrated bacon. Um, that is a good snack, actually. Vegan chocolate bars, vegan crackers, all that kind of stuff, imitation honey. And then moving to um, something a little bit more important, this. Oh, oh wow. wow. I actually found the light on that. On the first try, yeah. the first time in three years since you turned that on. Um, all vegan meats, vegan dressings, vegan cheese is huge. Uh, and um, yeah, a small door dedicated to keto items. Uh, keto is a very big uh, trend. I don't know if it's gonna be something that lasts forever or is just something that uh, we've done good with for the last couple of years. Sticking with the keto stuff, you have tons of sugar-free syrups for people. A lot of people like to drink clearly around here, so we uh, we have a lot of different uh, mixes and uh, coffee-based uh, syrups and things like that. A lot of big drinkers, but that's fine. Whatever makes you happy. Love those hand gestures. Yeah. Do the snack section or the produce first? Produce. Okay, so quickly, just a bunch more snacks for Impulse. People too do tend to line up right here to 
check out. So this gets used, that gets used, and that gets used for impulse. And I even got this little stand here of chocolate. I'm probably not doing this again. It doesn't really sell. Should probably be faced this way if people line up here. Anyways, the real bread and butter of this store is fresh based produce. And that's what we started with. Trust me, all of this stuff didn't exist. Whatever you see here did not exist. We literally started with a few tables of produce. So we're thankful for every apple that we have uh, because each apple sold created another product for us to buy, if that makes sense. We'll explain in another video. Fresh produce and things that kind of go with fresh produce, sun-dried tomatoes, pestos, you know, we got some. In case like you are making or having people over, you know, you do tomatoes, maybe a charcuterie board with a sausage. Okay, you got some nice soups, some homemade sauces. Some of the best sauce in the world is located right there. And then you got canned fruit, honey, dates, all related to produce in a way. Okay, along the bottom, we do a lot of convenience items. Rices, pastas, tomato sauces, um, diced tomato cans. Just a lot of inventory guys that really, really jam this place. And we were fortunate enough to be able to keep buying inventory that our customers wanted because people kept coming back and supporting the store, so we brought on more inventory. It's a very simple concept. It does take a lot of time. So bananas will always be your number one seller. Any store you go to, bananas will be your number one seller. If you ever see a store with uh, bananas that aren't green, that means they're not performing well as a store. It's, so uh, those ones right there. Yeah, so we had a slow week. Let's just say those. But we actually have a lot of people that ask for those too, which is weird. People I mean, like they do bake with them, but... Banana bread and stuff like that. All right, so down at the bottom is just uh, drinks, um, cases of water usually. We do a lot of, you know, ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, relish. You gotta get that stuff on the wieners. All right, moving forward, a lot more drinks over here. A lot of different variety of drinks. We can spend all day going through each thing, but you know, just health-based drinks, nectars, um, some Italian pops, uh, root beer, juices, just a lot of different variety. Stuff for your alcohol too. A full selection of spices, everything from cardamom to za'atar. I'm surprised that that actually worked out for me. Yeah, we do a lot. We do a lot of. Uh, we do good with spices because there's a lot of people who like to cook. So whatever happened with 2020, I can't really say the word, but you know what I'm referring to. People started cooking a lot more. The restaurants were closed. Spices and you know oils and everything kind of really took off in that sense. So this does very good and I think people will kind of cook more than they used to in the past thanks to whatever happened last year. Okay, so moving forward away from the sugar-free stuff, we have your basic, you know, crackers, different variety of crackers, as many as, you know, we can fit in this store. Then we have some breadsticks, some cheesy baked breadsticks, um, some kind of healthier trail mixes, some Australian licorice. Um, going forward, you have your healthy cookies, you know, as healthy as a cookie can be. And then we have a mountain of chips that uh, we're really trying to see which ones sell the best. Oh. So then paired off with all of our chips, the tortillas do very well. So obviously we have a wide variety of salsas and some other specialty chips. Tortillas and salsa maybe could be a, a number one seller some days as long as uh, you have a good variety. Also a very, very good seller is our own coffee line. Uh, one day we're gonna put this on the market for you guys to purchase only if you want. It's gonna be a very reasonable price. It's one of the best coffees money can buy. Obviously I say that, um, I'm not biased. My customers think the same. We have tons of teas, variety of different coffees, some more spe specialty chips, more coffee, more snacks. This section is really, really full and uh, we do need to clean it up in a, in a certain, uh, in a it certain, needs an improvement. In a certain organized method, everything should be themed together, but we're working on it. Okay, so this section is all your quick rices, soups, uh, ready-made risottos, um, couscous, soup at least, you name it. This is how I cook. I just wanna throw this in a pot, add some water, and everybody's happy. So we do do some of our own baking here. We do our own cookies. We do some tarts. Um, then we line them up with, you know, everybody else's kind of rice cakes, breadsticks, 
you know, other styles of cookies and cupcakes that you can find at other stores, but people do like them, so they're here for convenience. A lot of marble loaves, a lot of coffee cakes, donuts. Um, this stuff sells in one or two days, so you might see it here today, and then poof, I ate it all. So I mentioned a fret. I made a fresh batch of pita chips this morning. Felicia's mom made a fresh batch of angel wings. And uh, these are big sellers here because uh, people start to catch on that they can't find this stuff anywhere else. So we do very good with that. Um, uh, we do have a lot of pies that uh, sell very well. Some more muffins. We have a small ball nut section here that I just put here because people seem to pick them up with a pie for some reason. Don't ask me why they just end up doing that. And I know it doesn't make sense because they should be with their other nuts, but it works, so we're gonna keep it. Some small convenience items you'll see up here, um, they just work in this section. And don't ask me why, they just... They started out as just a placeholder and now they stuck. I don't wanna forget this section right here. Butter tarts might be another number one seller in this store. If you're gonna open any grocery store, I'm begging you, make butter tarts at least 5% of your floor space. They will sell, they last a long time on the shelves. Everybody loves them, I swear. We're talking one in every 10 customers either buys a butter tart impulsively or a six pack. I would say four out of 10. Yes. That, that's nuts. I sell Everybody so many packs, tarts. it's I mean, crazy. We, we do have a ton of different varieties, but for a small store like this, the amount of butter tarts that go through here, it probably pays Felicia's Gucci flip flop addiction. So this section right here is, you know, a lot of convenience based items, things that might pair up with desserts, um, you know, oat milk, soy milk, generic cookies, this should probably be like that, some box cookies, caramel sauces, again, this section probably should be improved, we do want to, we do want to, uh, you saw that on there, the French side, yeah, just be meticulous with everything, face everything, making it look nice, you know, English, French, or your first language, whatever country you're in. We're in Canada, by the way, so that's why you'll see a lot of English and French around here. We have some fancy jams, you know, to to pair with boards and desserts and things like that. Some oat milk again. And uh, yes, Felicia's pet peeve is this section because it doesn't make much sense. I want to turn it into like a sausage slash pepperette display. Okay, well, that's a lot of room for that. Well, you need, you need a lot of different We sell brands. a lot of them, so. We do. Okay, so this is a small little breakfast nook, I guess you can call it. Pancakes, oh, pancakes, pancake mixes, syrups, cereal, oatmeal, steel cut oats, um, granola, things like that. Yeah, you know what? I know everything, this kind of cereal is cheaper at big stores, but people will pick it up if they're here. So we do have a small section for it. I don't mind carrying it. The people don't mind seeing it. So it's going to be here for a while. And then this is more kind of breakfast snacks, things like that. Like if you ever want a fig roll in the morning, I have it here for you. This is a nice brand, Tate's. We're not having too much luck with this. If Tate's, if anyone from Tate's is watching this, please let me know how to improve that. Maybe you can send us a free bag. So this is our bulk section. Uh, we've improved this section a couple times. I know sometimes it may look like a mishmash on camera, but if you do come to our store, you will notice that it actually makes some sense. Like you can get your hazelnuts next to your sliced almonds, next to your pecans, and a bunch of bulk candy. Uh, you do very good, you have very good margins on bulk candy. So try to just pack it yourself, you'll make better money. Let's do this section really quick. A small baking section, all your corn syrups, flours, chocolate chips uh, for baking, uh, some hazel, uh, some gluten-free flour. That stuff does very good. And uh, yeah, a small baking section. And uh, I've been warned about this section many times coming up. Uh, I'm just gonna show them how long it is. Pasta is a huge part of the store. You know, there's just so many different cuts of pasta that it's just, I, I wanna carry so much of it because so many people do buy it. Trust me, I wouldn't have this much pasta in the store if it didn't sell. And it's another nice thing because you, you, you put a pack of pasta on the shelf, you don't have to worry about it going bad on you and eventually it will sell because people store up stock up on pasta um, more than almost any other food group for some reason so yeah there's a lot of gluten-free pasta some ready-made ravioli some one potters this is how I like to cook dump it 
put and then he complains about it later. Put some water mm -hmm. in it, and you're done. All right. So why don't we joke with Felicia? This cooler. And it's not actually a joke because it's true. Is one of the most used cooler in the store. The smallest cooler, I honestly maybe. If it's the add, most used. If you add up all the usage of most of these coolers, this cooler is used the most because everybody likes their creams and their dipping and their dipping sauces and their hummus and salsas. What's with you guys? Why do you guys like dipping things so much? Ranch, garlic sauces, spinach. Um, just you know, There is pickles down there, guacamole. Everybody likes a dip. This small cooler we started with, it's one of the only coolers that probably hasn't been replaced hasn't yet. Hasn't been replaced. So yeah, thanks for buying dips. So this would be kind of a, a noodles and rices and taco section. It's kind of a mix between a Asian fusion, Americanized Asian food, mind you, Indian uh, sauces all in one. Um, eventually, if I had a bigger store, I'd love to be able to do an Asian section, Indian, Mexican, Italian, you know, keep going from there. But, you know, at this time, we're very limited, so these kind of got condensed together. So, um, coming on to the bread shelf, there's really nothing left. It all has been picked over, which is a good thing. You want to sell out of your bread almost every day and keep it fresh. Uh, people like fresh bread, right? So, yeah, multigrains, garlic buns, cheese sticks, Vienna bread. We really try to do it all here and uh, in a small space, so that's that. You know, you have your breadsticks up there, your breadcrumbs. So this little rack here is serviced by a company. They take care of all of it for us. It's nice because anything that is going bad or is coming on date, they do replace it and fund it. Um, this is all tortillas, general toast bread. You guys might be familiar with that brand. Um, it does very well. People love, you know, hot dogs and hamburger buns and things like that. Um, another huge breadstick shelf. Breadsticks are great in this store. I'm not sure why this store sells so many breadsticks, but they do. So we offer quite a bit of them. All right, so this is a really big brand here in Canada, or maybe in the States, I'm not 100% sure. Bob's Red Mill. This is all your baking, your uh, flour mixes. Uh, what else about help me out here? Uh, flour, oh, mix, Pancake mixes, brownie nutritional mix. yeast. It's just a variety of you know, pantry items that everybody buys and there's no waste on it, which, which we're happy. Um, I do have an obsession with jam, which I have controlled. I've, I've gotten help for that. I do buy a lot of jam. People just like jam and I also love jam. And so that's I, not just the extent. So I did buy it a ton of jam. On. Like a lot of jam though. Um, jam I like, you don't have to worry about it. Like I'm just gonna look at this one, the date on this, 2023. Like, it's just, this is money right here. You just can't beat that. People love jam and uh, I'm gonna carry it for them. Followed by honey, peanut butter. We do do our own peanut butter. If anyone wants to send to them, you guys can have one. Powdered peanut butter, uh, more jam and, and jarred fruit. Jarred fruit, that's very good. Okay, so this is a really big section of our store. We do carry a lot of charcuterie items, which I mean, you know, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, Grilled peppers, grilled eggplant, vegetables in jars. Um, it just goes on and on. Artichokes. Um, there's a lot of different products here. So if you guys ever do come in here, feel free to ask me. Felicia can help you find whatever you need. I'm just trying to see here. Yeah, just more dried olives, more different spread, more spreads. I can't talk right now. Um, it's just a lot of different things that I know that would work in a store similar to this if you're planning on opening anything like that. So this is another section I'm really happy with. Um, if you've watched these videos before, you've seen this shelf all come down on me and it was very hard to clean up. So this is all different kinds of oils, basically flavored olive oils, regular olive oils, um, um, avocado oils, sesame oils, apple cider vinegars, um, you know, just vinegars. Vinegar is very big on this section. Moving on to over here, um, you know, your canned uh, beans, mixed vegetables, all your canned goods that you find in your in your pantry, I guess, or your fruit cellars, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so uh, capers. Yeah, just, just make sure that uh, you serve uh, your customers with a lot of uh, dry goods like this. Uh, technically not a dry good. Kind of stinks. 
All right, so this is our produce cooler. Um, one of them anyways, we do have another one on the front here. This is all lettuces, broccolis, um, asparagus, mushrooms. This stuff really rotates fast. Yes, there's a lot of waste, but it does sell fast. Okay, another produce cooler here, all your berries, grapes. This is basically, you're gonna say, fruit produce cooler and then veggie produce cooler. We've really gotta separate why these carrots are here. Um, they just made sense at the time. They don't make sense right now, though thinking about it. So yeah, this is our fruit cooler and that's the veggie cooler. We do pair um, a lot of different fruit juices at the bottom. Uh, it does sell there, so we're happy about it. Kettle popcorn, a lot of local vendors set up right here. They just like to be featured here, so we're happy to do that. And yeah, another bread shelf. This is an impulse buy as well, so we do keep a lot of bread up front. We do need to sell as fast as possible, so it is here. All right, and the last room probably, there is a walk-in cooler that um, we also have, but this is our back room. Um, we do all of our salads, you know, we clean up a lot of cut up produce back here, wraps, sandwiches, baked goods, you name it, it gets done back here. This is a small storage section. Uh, we do need to wipe this down before the health board shuts us down. We do a lot of storage up here. This is our office, storage room, break room, you name it. Um, Felicia likes to come back here and try on her Gucci flip flops, but you know, that's another story. And this door here, is just our common hallway. This is where we take all our deliveries. Not this door exactly, but it's further down. Um, you'll see them back there by the bid taking trucks. And uh, we carry all our produce in the back walk-in cooler, but we'll probably do that in another video because Felicia's is really hungry right now. So thanks for watching this video. Let's, uh, let's meet up on the next one. Does that make sense? Yes, bye. <laughs>